Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, 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 potato. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti, 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 spaghetti. Banana, mash banana, mash banana, mash banana, mash banana, mash banana. I'm ready on the starting line. My guns in the air. On the target, there's enemy everywhere. Here she comes again now. She's here the crowd side. I gather up my courage. Saying, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, let's go, let's go. Cause she's the one, she's the one, she's the one, she's the one, she's the one. My sister Colleen was doing a, a test, a mature age test, uh, for the Institute of Early Childhood Studies. I drove the car that dropped her off there, and I just got out of the army. There was nothing to do, and she went in to do the test, and I said, oh, I'll just do the test too. I had no idea what it was all about. five piece then we had Philip Wiltshire who was a piano player playing with us at the time and we used to wear different colored shirts not not skivvies but we wore shirts with very busy patterns we thought that was kind of bright myself Murray Greg Jeff uh, we're all rock and rollers we could put a, a, a bit of music that had a bit of a rock and roll beat and also incorporate what we'd learned about children and, and what they like and what they respond to. And that, that was the first Wiggles album. Everybody loosen up. Let's get ready to wiggle. Get ready to wiggle. We've been ready for so long. Get ready to wiggle. When you wiggle, you can't go wrong. Get ready to wiggle. Wiggle will make you big and strong Get ready to wiggle Wiggle to this song Wiggle to this song Well, when, when we took it to the ABC, I, I think um, to an extent... Uh, we 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 kind of wrote out a, a really uh, this screed about 
our philosophy and uh, quite an um, academic kind of treatise, really, I guess. And uh, I think maybe we, we baffled them a little bit and they thought there must be something in this. Well, Merrill, Merrill really already knew about us because uh, we were signed to Festival Records as the Cockroaches and Merrill worked at Festival Records. At the time, um, children's entertainers were basically solo acts um, performing for children and the ABC had the best of them and they were very successful but I really felt it was probably time for something different and this was what the boys the Wiggles presented us with Get ready to wiggle We've been ready for so long Get ready to wiggle When you wiggle you can't go wrong Get ready to wiggle Wiggle will make you big and strong Get ready to wiggle Wiggle to this song Wiggle to this song Let's all sing Our studies told us that children prefer a simple set. They prefer, they're concrete and centered thinkers. You know, the first couple of years, it was, um, it was just the four of us in a Tarago, usually Jeff because Jeff quite liked driving, so he'd do the driving and um, yeah, we'd have to make sure he stayed away. No. Jeff used to have a suitcase where he'd sell the tapes out of the suitcase. We would take the PA around in the back of uh, Greg's van that he was paying off and we would do the suits. I, I would be Wags and Captain. Uh, Murray was Dorothy. He was like a six foot three basketball playing Dorothy. So we did, it was very primitive. We had a backdrop, which was a curtain with the Wiggles written across it. What was always good about the Wiggles was it was always honest and it was always, the main thing was it communicated what we said and what we did was right at the level of children, we hoped. And um, that's why it worked. It didn't need the big, big production. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Salad, yummy, 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 yummy fruit salad. Let's make some fruit salad today. Oh, oh, oh. it's fun to do. It's a healthy way. Oh, oh, oh. take all the fruit that you want to eat. It's going to be. A We're going for a ride in our big red car. Jump in the car. To town, walk down the street, get back in the car and buckle up into my seat. Yes, that's the way we do it. Riding in our big red car. Big red car. Big red car. Jump in the I had a hernia and I had to go into hospital and I was going to miss the Wiggles tour and I said to Paddy, mate would you fill in for me, you've got to be a pirate and um, you've got to be me. I had no idea, I hadn't seen, hadn't seen the show, hadn't seen the other 
three guys. I hadn't met Greg or Murray or Jeff at that point. We said, oh, when we get there, we'll, we'll take you through everything. And, um, but when we got there, it was kind of pretty late. So he said, oh, tomorrow before we start, we'll give you a quick run through. So basically, he had, he had no rehearsal at all. He came back maybe a stone lighter than he was. And uh, he loved the experience. And the boys said to me, we've got to keep him. He's really funny. And he has been brilliant ever since. In the original shows, Anthony was Captain Feathersword and, um, uh, and then eventually Paul Paddock came along. We, we needed an extra person. We decided that uh, too, there were too many roles for us to do all ourselves and so Paul came along. All right, everybody, let's all get ready to point our fingers and we'll do the twist. Here we go. And you point your fingers and do the twist. Everybody's twisting, Greg. Can you point your fingers and do the twist? We're all doing the twist. Well, we're going to go up, then go down. Get back up and turn around. Can you point your fingers and do the twist? What's next, Greg? What's next? Can you stand on one foot and shake your hands? Oh, boy, that's hard. Can you stand on a foot and shake your hand? Shaky, shaky! Now we're gonna go up, then go down. Get back up and turn around. Can you stand on one foot and shake your hands? What's next, Frank? What's next? Can you point your fingers and do the twist? Pointy, pointy, pointy! You point your fingers and do the twist. I'm doing the twist really fast, Greg. Now we're gonna go up, then go down. Get back up and turn around. Can you point your fingers and do the twist?
chug a chug a big red car. We'll travel near and we'll travel far. To to chug a chug a big red car. We're gonna ride the whole day long. Murray's in the back seat, playing his guitar. Murray's in the back seat. You can spend a day with the Wiggles. We hope you have lots of fun. Use your imagination to make this page look as good as the others. Hey, that looks like me. Hey, it is me. You've made me look really magical. Wags will be so happy. You found his bone. I couldn't have done better. Hey, he's swimming like a fish. We're ready. Can you help us get to the garage so we can fix the big red car? Thank goodness you got us to the garage to get a big red car fixed, or we wouldn't have been able to continue our journey. This book is called Dorothy's Birthday Party. Thank you very much for my surprise birthday party. I love surprises. A pineapple. That can go in the pea pie. Unbelievable! A blue ball with green stripes. Woohoo! That's great! Great job! Watch those flowers grow. We've saved up some of our favourite shows for you to watch. Magic world, come with us and see. Anything can happen in this special world. It can happen to you or me. It's where the Wiggles live. Why don't you come along and meet their friends as well? There's music and dancing, magic and games, and lots of great stories to tell. In the Wiggles world, in the Wiggles world, you're all welcome here. So let's give a cheer. Welcome to the Wiggles world. We received a videotape in the mail and sat down to view it. And I looked at it and I said, oh my gosh, they're brilliant. This is fantastic. And she was on her way to go to Disneyland. And there was a, a, an audience of American children, mostly, that had never seen the Wiggles before and immediately got up and started dancing and interacting with the music. And that's when I knew for sure that we had something that would be really big. The Radio City Music Hall uh, Barney Show sold out in 21 minutes, which was some kind of a record. And 60,000 people attended those shows. And the Wiggles being the Intermission Act were exposed suddenly to a lot of children. Um, we had some products for sale at FAO Schwartz nearby. And two, the two Wiggles DVDs that we had out shot to number one and number two on the Amazon charts. And that really launched our success in America.
sway from side to side and let your backbone slip. Dorothy, Dorothy, would you like to dance with me? This is fun! Dorothy, Dorothy. <laughs> It's show Here we go! One, two, three! Oh, whoa! Well done. You're very good at this game. Let's play again. We're underneath the big top. What a pretty picture. Excellent job. Captain Feather Sword sailing on the ocean waves. The boat's getting rocked, but the captain's happy and brave. From every wolf and pier, you can hear everybody cheer. Go, Captain, go. Ahoy there. Go, Captain, go. Ahoy there. Go, Captain, feather, sword, ahoy. Whoa, ho, ho. The wind it blew and the rain fell on the boat. your hips just like that in the tail on the donkey now we're playing hide and seek and in the kitchen we're making all the fruit salad you can eat at the wiggly party wiggly party wiggly party step 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 clap 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 Wiggle your hips just like that. That was quite a surreal experience to be um, travelling down Broadway on a float in zero degrees. <laughs> we really got a sense of um, who the parents were in the audience because um, a lot of cops, a lot of New York cops, obviously family people, lots of them knew who we were. <laughs> My son loves you guys. My daughter loves you guys. <laughs> It wasn't just after 9-11 that their performers were shy of going to New York. I can remember Faith Hill, the country singer, cancelled a promotional visit to Australia because she thought it was too dangerous. I mean, people got, you know, very, very antsy about, you know, sort of going, going anywhere. Actually, when we did the Macy's Day Parade, we asked our cast uh, if anyone had any problem, you know, worried about security because it was really, really a bit scary. Uh, you don't have to go in the parade, but everybody did. It was incredibly moving. Um, it was, it was almost like a, an act of, not defiance, but uh, like a statement of New York's bravery. I guess that uh, they weren't going to be um, put down by what, what had happened. I'll never forget the emotion, and the feeling of, um, you know, this has happened to us, but we're all together. I'm going to work through this. That everybody had it was an incredible community spirit. At the time, the house that we lived in, when you walked in, you were instantly in the living room, which had the TV, and that was where we spent most of our, our time. 
So naturally on the TV, the images of the planes crashing into the towers would just replay over and over. I had, you know, a son, 10 and a half months at this time, that I would absolutely, you know, I had to protect him from these images. And the only way that I could think of doing that in those days was to have the wiggles on. And they were, they were on in my house 24 seven. He didn't realize Brian was gone and everything. Like, I mean, he, you know, he didn't, he, too young. You know what I'm saying? He, he was too young. But this, the, the, the Wiggles just put him in such a, a great frame of mind. He was just happy. He was, he, was, he was laughing all the time. A very close friend of mine um, found out that the Wiggles would be playing in New London, Connecticut. He contacted somebody um, in the Wiggles office and I guess told the story that we were watching the Wiggles all the time and how in many ways the Wiggles um, were just, you know, sunshine in a time of horrendous darkness. We went and met, met her after the show and uh, we became very close friends and heard about Brian and other firefighters. I guess their story just really touched us because it made it a really human thing, you know, to, to, it was upsetting enough to watch it unfold on the, on the day, but to then meet someone who it had been you know, devastated so, so personally by it. Um, it was incredibly moving. For, for someone, the strangers to, you know, to, to give a part of themselves the way the Wiggles did is, it's incredible. We actually had a benefit concert at the fire station uh, for the firefighters and for the children. They took all the children, all the people, all the neighbors. It was such a great family affair event and just gave back to that firehouse. I mean, it was great. It's great for the soul. It was great, great for us too, I think, to, um, to meet these people and hear the sad stories, but uplifting stories as well and the fact that they were moving forward with their lives. We presented the Wiggles with uh, a cross from the World Trade Center, from the steel from the World Trade Center, uh, so that they would have a piece of this moment in history that um, they certainly helped us get through. Excellent. You are on the spot. <coughs> Choose a picture to watch a Wiggly video. Here is the Wiggly Jukebox. Choose a CD to listen to a song. Choose stop when you want to play another game. Crocodile Hunter. Save it if I can. Khaki shorts, khaki shorts, short sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt, jungle boots, jungle boots. G'day, there's some amazing animals in the Australian bush. Some of them even sing and dance. We call them the Wiggles. Crocodile hunter, crocky is a croc with razor sharp teeth. Jumping in the water, jumping in the water, climbing up a tree, climbing up a tree, rolling down the sand dunes, rolling down the sand, a friend to the animals. Go, 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 go! Lights, camera, action, Wiggle! Welcome to our TV show. Lights, camera, action, Wiggle! TV show, lights, camera, action, Wiggles! Everybody, let's go! Captain Feather 
Dinosaurus join the show. Ahoy there! He loves to pirate dance. Oh, oh, I so let's dance. get together with everyone. a video with Captain Feathersword. Well done. Well done. There's the treasure. You found the key. Wow, you're good at this. Oh, well done. There is sand. And lots of friends. Oh, oh, you can eat the very treasure. Oh, the fun, it never ends. Wow! We're on our way to Wiggle Bay. Oh, I love that Wiggle Bay. Just a few waves. There are a few supergroups worthy of the name. The Beatles, The Stones, U2, maybe moving pictures. Each characterised by superbly talented individuals who when they get together create pure magic. Tonight we are here to honour the latest in this legendary line. Four men who, despite being told that skivvy bands were on the way out, have gone on to dominate every part of the world not yet one metre high. Their passion for what they do, their genuine affection for their fans, the enthusiasm of their stage shows, and their determination to sing about spotted dinosaurs and giant hat-wearing octopuses without once being checked into rehab, all these are the hallmarks of greatness. Songs crafted for an audience already high on life, they never fail to fill their young audience with joy, but do not be fooled by their simplicity, for their music is up there with the greats. As Lennon gave us cold turkey, so they gave us hot potato. As Prince gave us little red Corvette, so they gave us big red car. And as JJ Kale gave us cocaine, so they gave us toot toot. Share with me now a glimpse into the phenomenon that is the Wiggles. When we started out 12 years ago, we had no idea we'd be here on the stage. We were just a bunch of teachers. <laughs> what I love was the fact that the Strokes were then the biggest band in America. They were on the, the front cover of Rolling Stone. We got there and the Strokes were moving out after their run of gigs, which was one. <laughs> the Wiggles were moving in to do their run of shows, which was 12. <laughs> That's one of those things that when you look back on and think, wow, that's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, when we, when we first recorded that album you know, in 1991, we had no thought that we'd ever probably visit Madison Square Garden, let alone do, do that. Incredible as it may sound, it's now on the uh, Trivial Pursuits game in America, who sold out uh, 12 shows. You know, it's got The Who, The Rolling Stones, The Wiggles and someone else, you know. Big red car rolls along the street And to all the people that we meet We like to say hello Say hello To the people that we meet In the back are Wags and Dorothy Captain Feathersword and Henry They like to say hello Say hello To the people that they meet the horn on the big red car We ride along and we travel far Cause there's lots of people we can meet In our big red car Ahoy there me hearties! Whoa! The road we travel is a bumpy ride To a tinsel town too. Rockin' Santa. I'm rocking Santa. The sleigh has speakers and it's booming. Working with John Fogarty was one of those moments. Uh, I grew up 
loving Credence and John Fogarty's solo music. To actually work with him was a dream come true. His daughter loved the Wiggles and that's how it came about. Uh, when we recorded with him, we went over to his studio and we spoke to him about rock and roll and about music for about an hour. And I wish I'd taped it because he was just being candid about who he loved, what he loved about rock and roll, and uh, it was just an amazing experience. Sing oh so high Walking on the blue Floating for so long Floating so long Leaping steps so wide Leaping Jumping into air Walking on the blue Won't come down till noon Because we're walking, walking. Well, here we are, well, here we are, some friends that you all know. We'd like you to clap and sing and dance along too. Well, let's get ready to have some fun, cause our friends will dance with you. Here comes Henry, here comes Henry, dancing with a twirl. Here comes Henry, here comes Henry, from his underwater world. Hello, everybody, it's lovely to be here. Another friend, so let's all give a cheer. Here comes Darby, here comes Darby, munching on a rose. Here comes Darby, here comes Darby, dancing everywhere she goes. Hello, everybody! It's lovely to be here. Now here comes another friend, so let's all give a cheer. Here comes the captain, here comes the captain, tickling everyone. Here comes the captain, here comes the captain. The fun has just begun. Ahoy there, me hearties! Oh, it's lovely to be here! Wow! Now here comes another friend, so let's all give a cheer. Here comes Wagsy, here comes Wagsy, running around the park. Here comes Wagsy, here comes Wagsy, listen to him bark. Get ready to dance, cause everybody's here. Hola a todos, somos the Wiggles! Hi, 大家好,我们是 The Wiggles! Hey Greg, tell us what you can do. I can do so many things. Watch me turn around and clap my hands Hey, we can all do that! Watch me turn around Watch me turn around and clap my hands Hey, that's fun! I can reach my hands up to the sky And then I slowly bring them down I can clap my hands and turn around Just watch me go Jump on the spot and pat my head Let's all do that! Purple is the colour of grapes Red is the colour of cherries Yellow is the colour of bananas Me! I like blueberries! Well, we've got a rainbow of colours together Colours that you see here and there A rainbow of colours together See them everywhere
Times where he would run off stage in, you know, midway through a song and, and indicate for me to take over because he had to take a break. Um, there's also times where the overture was playing and he realizes he could he realized he couldn't go on and and I had to quickly <laughs> put the yellow skivvy on and run out there and, and start the show. For some time now, I've been suffering from a condition which I've recently found out is chronic. It's a condition called orthostatic intolerance, which basically means that when I stand up, my heart doesn't pump enough blood around my body. Now, it's not a life-threatening condition by any means, but it is one that's gonna be with me for the rest of my life, and it will mean that I have to make some changes to my life in order to manage it. It means that I'll no longer be able to sing and dance the way that I want to, and as a result, I've decided to stop performing with the Wiggles. It's provided me with some of my greatest memories to see the children there singing and dancing along to the songs that I love to sing so much. Thank you very much, everyone. I will miss being a part of the Wiggles very much, but this is the right decision because it will allow me to focus on managing my health. And, you know, that's, that's sad. It was a very sad time um, for lots of reasons. I mean, the four of us had gone so far together and, um, and we were friends we're, and we, you know, we still are. And, but, yeah, I do miss Greg. Um, in the in the group and on the road and uh, and I know a lot of other people do too. And Sam I know you're going to do a fantastic job going forward into the future as a member of the Wiggles wearing the yellow skivvy. You know the fact that uh, it was reported on the front of the New York Times that uh, you know Greg had left the Wiggles was um, you know, that wouldn't happen to any other band in Australia, any other band in the world, I can't think of that actually making the front page. Right now I'm going to officially hand over the yellow skivvy to the new yellow wiggle, Sam Moran. That's great. And you've probably already heard the news, everyone, that uh, Greg's decided to retire from the wiggles. He's not well enough to go on uh, performing with us and uh, we're really sad about that. But we're happy about something else. We're happy to welcome Sam, the new Yellow Wiggle. Hi, everybody. It's great to be here. I became Greg's understudy about five years before um, taking over the Yellow Wiggle. Um, I just finished a job in IT, actually, and Anthony had asked me to come do some recording, and then Greg was scheduled to have a knee operation, I think, and couldn't do a tour. So they asked me to fill in for that tour, and then they, I think they realised after those two, that two-week tour, they needed somebody to be able to fill in for Greg whenever he was sick. Let's start running, everybody. Running on the spot. Run, run, run. <laughs> this is fun. Running on the spot. Run, run, hey, run. Hey, I'm feel strong. Getting strong. Getting strong. Yeah. Getting, strong. Yeah. Getting, strong. Yeah. getting strong. Getting strong. Once Sam moved in and took over for Greg, it was very smooth because everybody realized it is about red, purple, yellow, blue, and it is preschool, and it is the music, and they are the characters. So it was very successful the way they transitioned from Greg through Sam. Getting strong, getting strong, getting strong, getting strong, getting strong, getting strong, getting strong. Getting strong.
Dorothy came out of uh, Murray's classroom. Murray was teaching and uh, he noticed, like all children, most children anyway, that his children in the class loved dinosaurs. So I wrote this song about finding a dinosaur in your backyard and her name is Dorothy the Dinosaur. We actually used um, the music for that track, which was an old Cockroaches pop song, so we adapted the lyrics to that song. Eating all mum's roses, there in the moonlight, it was Dorothy the Dinosaur. And I know Anthony took the tape along to the preschool he was teaching at and um, gave it to a couple of kids to take home. And um, One parent came back the next day and said, my child played that Dorothy the Dinosaur song, you know, pick a number, you know, 50 times or something. And we kind of went, oh, maybe that's the hit. <laughs> so. Hey there, hey, it's time for singing. Australian rock legend and yeah. there's one person that comes to mind he was the lead singer of Cold Chisel oh I think you know who I'm talking about he's a family man a generous man he's a UNICEF ambassador just like the Wiggles oh I think he's gonna help us wake up Jeff here he comes Jimmy Barnes wake up Jeff wake up Jeff wake up Jeff wake up Jeff before the day is through. Jimmy Barnes, everyone! You got a good way up to
Paramithi or Paramithi is a Greek word that means fairy tale. And in Paramithi, you'll see fairy tales and folk tales every day. There's 30 episodes, so that's 30 different folk tales or fairy tales. At the core of each show, you'll see Cinderella maybe, or next day Little Red Riding Hood, uh, folk tales that children love. They look forward to seeing Pinocchio the next day. Uh, but around those fairy tales or the folk tales, is the goings on in a castle. There's a real rich look to Paramithi in the costumes, in the settings. We have an actual horse and carriage. Uh, we're there in a sandstone castle. Uh, we go to all sorts of historical locations. So it's set in a time gone by that's familiar, but not the same to now. And that adds, I think, to that storybook look and feel to everything. <laughs> And welcome to our new website, Wiggle, Wiggle Time. Time! Wiggle Time is an entertaining, educational and interactive wiggly virtual world for preschool children, packed with games, activities, streaming videos, music and much more. It's time to go on a holiday. There's animals everywhere. Tell us about it, Sam. Tell us about it. What happened on your holiday? I was walking in the park one day I was on my holiday I turned around and what did I see? There was a monkey swinging in a tree Singing So what happened next, Sam? We heard about the monkeys. What happened next? Sound, get your hot pop and pop on, pop and pop and pop on. Get it while it's hot on, wow. Eat it while you watch on, hot pop and pop on. Pop it and away you go. Once it starts a poppin', there's no way of stopping that hot pop and popcorn flow. So eat your pop and popcorn, hot pop and popcorn. Now it's on with the show. But particularly getting it from Macquarie University is, is amazing because that's that's where we started. We um, we couldn't have done it without the study we did there. To be given an honour like that's. Um, it was very moving and, and um, um, you know, a really proud moment. The Order of Australia was the most mind-blowing and uh, hopefully my grandkids will, will, will be proud of their grandpa. I haven't got grandkids yet, by the way. <laughs> Even if I look like I do. Sam 
is so talented when it comes to singing and dancing and really getting the audience on their feet with his voice. Everybody clap, everybody sing, la 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 la, bow to your partner, then you turn around, hands in the air, rock by your bed, bears an hour sleep, bears an hour sleep. Everybody clap. Everybody sing. I think the Beatles have been so successful because of their unique combination of colour, energy, and they're just damn good fun. The wall of water sliced like a knife through the heart of Queensland. And today the pain got even worse. A second wave, another deluge, brought rescues in the disaster zone to a halt. New communities were soon under threat and mass evacuations began all over again. Ipswich and Brisbane are now facing their greatest threat and their toughest test in more than 35 years. This is the highest level the Dawson River at Theodore has reached since the mid-1950s. Some residents have been forced to leave their homes. The water has no respect for domestic chores. But in this part of the state, farming land is being swallowed up more than anything else. The Brisbane River peaked at just over four metres this afternoon, engulfing the central business district, forcing evacuations. The rising waters weave through streets and properties. Skyscrapers are now surrounded by water, their basements filling up. Yesterday it was a potential evacuation centre. Today Suncorp Stadium turned into a water park. The home of Rugby League, a playground for paddlers. At South Bank, the lagoon is about to be inundated. The flood now stretches from Toowoomba to the sea. Water has risen into 50 Brisbane suburbs. By tomorrow morning, 20,000 properties will be swamped. 40,000 will have some water damage. Yeah. 
A trip to the museum has never been so much fun now that the history of the Wiggles is on display. They're building a brand new exhibition all about us, the Wiggles. It's a testament to this group's talent that bands like Jebediah, Spiderbait, Architecture in Helsinki and the Snowdroppers are now rushing to cover this group's work. Of the more than 450 songs that they've recorded, many of them have become classics. Think Big Red Car, Fruit Salad, Yummy Yummy. And who is ever going to forget Hot Potato? Not only are they gifted songwriters, expert educators, and supreme performers, they've also managed to achieve the impossible. Perform on stage in brightly colored skivvies with no embarrassment, but with great confidence, they are the Wiggles. This is truly amazing. Um, when we first heard about this, uh, I looked up online to see who else was in the Hall of Fame. I was aware of quite a few different people. Um, but just looking at, at the company we're in uh, is so humbling and uh, it's just so amazing for us. Hi everybody, it's me, Sam. I just wanted to send a message to all the children around the world who have sent me such wonderful messages on Facebook and Twitter and some sad messages too, saying how upset they are that I won't be the yellow wiggle anymore. Fear not, the wiggles will continue and you'll still see all your other friends, Dorothy the Dinosaur, Wags the Dog, Henry the Octopus, and of course, Captain Feathersword, the friendly pirate, and also, of course, Jeff, Murray, Anthony. But there'll be another driver of the big red car. It'll be Greg. He'll be the yellow wiggle. He was the yellow wiggle before I was the yellow wiggle, and he will be again. Sam, thank you. You did a fantastic job in the yellow skivvy for five years. Now, I'm feeling really good again, and I'm so happy to be back wiggling. There's no doubt Sam did a great, great job filling in for Greg. But I tell you what, we'll miss him just like you'll miss him. And we can't wait to get in that big red car again and see you at a show really soon. <laughs> Original Yellow Wiggle is back. Greg Page is reunited with his mates five years after he left the group due to illness. But with Greg in, that means his replacement Sam Moran is out. I was asked by the guys to come back to the Wiggles. My health's good again, so I'm on top of things and um, really, really looking forward to getting back on stage and you know entertaining the children that I haven't been entertaining for five years. Tell me, tell me, tell me if it's rain. Tell me, tell me, tell me. It's sunny again, Mr. Weatherman, we want to be like you. The support that I've gotten on Facebook and everybody here um, has been amazing. and It's been wonderful and really, uh, really humbling, to be honest. It's the weather like today. Tell me, tell me, tell me only if it's snow. Tell me, tell me, tell me if the winds will blow. The 
Hi everyone, just a quick message. You've probably heard that at the end of the year, Murray, Jeff and I will be retiring from the Wiggles. That means we won't be doing the live shows anymore, but we are gonna be involved in lots of things, helping out with the new Wiggles, and that's gonna be fantastic. Just to be a role model is great for any children, girls or boys, whatever. Now, you were born the year before the Wiggles began. Yeah, I'm, I'm the Wiggles generation and I remember seeing you guys at the Seymour Centre and I'm in a DVD jumping in a matching pinafore with my sister. <laughs> Without a care, he's got silver wispy hair. Who is the man, the groovy surfer man? Everybody knows it's Surfer Jam. Everyone says, wow, he coolly says, me how. In his bow tie and his hat, he's a surfer aristocrat. Who is the man, the groovy surfer man? Everybody knows it's Surfer Jam. Surfer Jam, Surfer Jam, Surfer Jam. have such a wonderful time but of course this uh, year is the last time that Greg, Jeff and I will be performing at the at Carol's and we're certainly going to miss everyone but it's not the end of the Wiggles at Carol's next year Anthony will be back with three new Wiggles. Go Santa go! Ho ho ho! Here I go! Ho ho ho! new gig tell us about what you're doing well play along the sands a new series on nick jr it's on every day four times a day um in the morning uh, hosting a block of shows between 10 and 12 so we've got 20 new songs and uh, we've got the cds out at the end of june with all those songs for everybody here but um, what i'm really excited about doing is um is getting back out there and, and touring the show and being, and being able to yeah. you know perform in front of children again and getting that feedback from an audience yeah. i will see Doobie doobie doobie, ah, it's Captain Feathers. 
song. Oh yeah. There's a friendly pyre of friends with you and me, dancing all day long on the seven seas. Oh, yeah. the Irish jig and the Highland fling. Oh, oh. With a feather for a sword, he's the pirate king. Everybody I just saw, Dorothy hey. the dinosaur, Hi, eating roses, dancing round, that's what I saw. Everybody I can see, oh. Henry in the deep blue oh, sea, yeah, with fun. his underwater band, that's what I see. So come with me, we'll see the Wiggles friends, doing what they love to do, don't you? Many years ago, when the Cockroaches got our catalogue re-released on CD and digital platforms, uh, we got together and did a reunion show. The reunion shows were a lot of fun. Um, it, it was amazing, actually, we knew the chords. Like, we had a rehearsal, but we didn't really know them. We did so many gigs that it was sort of inbred. Yeah, you just knew where everything was going. A few shows in Sydney and a couple of shows in Brisbane. Yellow Wiggle, Emma Watkins, and Purple Wiggle, Lachlan Gillespie, kept their love affair a secret. Now Emma and Lockie have tied the knot in a very wiggly wedding. So roses come in red and violets come in blue, but yellow is the perfect colour to describe the beauty of you. You look breathtakingly beautiful, you have a glow of a thousand suns, 
I think I'm with the children all around the world that think Emma is their number one. Ready, steady, wedding. Emma, lucky Sarah too. Ready, steady, wedding. In Sydney Harbour, that's blue. In Wiggle Town, there lives a clown, and his smile looks like a frown. It's upside down. The kittens hide, the mice all hunt, the spoons are sharp, the knives are blunt, it's back to front. The dogs meow, the lions tweet, the sugar's sour, the soap tastes sweet, the rocks are soft. I'm Jimmy Barnes. I got a really special friend. His name is Okai the Gnu. Okai the Gnu is a wildebeest and he lives in the Glasgow Zoo. Here's a song about him called I'm a Gnu. Alright everybody, I'm a Gnu, 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 Okai. Uh, this is a long story, I'll call it short. My grandson uh, Dylan, who is quarter Thai, and the rest Scottish, but he looks like a Scottish baby. Red hair, blue eyes, freckles, all that sort of stuff. Gorgeous. My wife tries to speak Scottish to him, you know? So she was saying one day, she was saying, oh, okay, the new to him. Like, and I'm, I'm a bit deaf, and I thought she called him a GNU. <laughs> so <laughs> so that, from then on, I called him the GNU. So you made up a character? I made, I made up a character, and, I, and I, when I, you know, you read him stories in bed, I want the light out so you go to sleep, otherwise you won't go to sleep. Yeah. So I had to just make up stories. And so I made the GNU this about character. him. character. Does Glasgow and then, and then, have a zoo, by the way? Glasgow doesn't have a zoo, and GNUs don't wear kilts either. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I brought him to Anthony, and he got very excited, and we started writing songs and making an album about them. And it's been amazing because it comes from Jimmy's heart, of course, inspired by his grandson. Um, and, and the music, well, Jimmy's written catchy songs for how many years now? <laughs> and uh, these are really catchy. And a lot of, bit of rock and roll in there, a bit of Scotland in there. Uh, a bit songs, of wiggles in there. Bit of wiggles in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're really catchy, beautiful songs for children to inspire them to dance, to sing, to play, to play with language. Uh, absolutely wonderful, inspiring story. And a, and a great, a warm story about Okai the Canoe.
one time we were filming here in the studio and I started to feel incredibly sick. So I just excused myself from filming and went upstairs to the bathroom and oh, look, I have no idea what came over me, but I completely collapsed on the floor. She was absolutely just in agony. She just couldn't get up. She didn't know why. She just was in so much, such strong cramps that she just couldn't move. So that was really frightening. Sometimes when I saw her, I'd say, are you okay? Do you need to go see a doctor? I'm okay, I'm all right, I'm okay. I don't know why, maybe she just wanted the show to go on and didn't think about herself enough. Once I'd seen Emma taking a history and I saw her ultrasounds, it was absolutely crystal clear that she had endometriosis. And she's just been ignoring it and pushing it by the wayside. It's like got cramping in my legs, nauseous. Endometriosis is a disease where tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows outside the uterus and it can attach onto all kinds of tissue, including the ovaries, the bowel, the bladder, the back of the uterus and the lining parts of the pelvis. And those lesions can grow and they cause pain and they can lead to infertility. Hello, it's Emma here. It's so good to see you. I'm sorry I can't be at some of the shows coming up. I'm feeling a little bit sick and I've got to go to the hospital to feel a bit better. A friend of mine is dressing up just like me. So how bad did it get? You'd, you'd obviously just been, what, trying to ignore the pain or and, and, and pushing on with, 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 obviously with what you do yeah, is yeah. physical and taxing. Um, just, you can't just take a day off no. when you want to. <laughs> I just thought it was a really bad period and just really heavy bleeding and I didn't really think much of it. And I think when it started, I, I got headaches during the show and I thought, okay, this is probably a little bit too much now. I guess you would love to perhaps use this, this situation to turn it into a positive and educate us a bit more yeah. about it. Dorothy the Dinosaur like you've never seen them before. How's the Red Wiggle going to go tonight, Beck? Well, he provides us plenty of entertainment on stage. Will he be as entertaining on the Ninja Warrior Corpus tonight? This is something really different from the Red Wiggle. I'll tell you what, he looks pretty fit too. Doesn't he? Look at him grip that. Yes. I don't know about that. How do you then grab hold of the bungee? You don't. Oh, Simon. Come on, Come on Warren. Ready to wear, get them shoulders up, Warren. She oh, looks to be struggling a tad. No! Oh, Just like Corey Worthington, she's touched the water. You know, it's way out of my comfort zone. But I really wanted to just show people that you, you can get out there, you can give something a go. It doesn't mean you've got to go on Ninja Warrior, but you can get out, you can go for a walk around the park, do whatever's right for you, but just to get out, get active, and, and to live and lead a healthy lifestyle. That's kind of what my message is, what our message is, and that's what I wanted yeah. to get across. All right, everyone, children at home, we're going to wiggle our way through the course. I could be a wet wiggle, but no matter what's going to happen, I'm going to wiggle. Google, talk to the Wiggles. Okay, let's get the Wiggles. Hi there, it's Emma Wiggle. There's a Wiggles concert today. Before we go, I can't decide which guitar to bring to the concert. What colour guitar should I bring? Yellow. My yellow guitar. Wonderful. Let's go. Captain Feather Swords, a pirate friend. Ahoy there! Wow, the 
dog goes woof. Ruff. We've got the Wiggle Fun Tour coming all around Australia and we can't wait, it's going to be so much fun. Guess what? We've got a very special, brand new friend for you to meet. It's our wonderful friend, the unicorn, all singing, all dancing, Shirley Sean. Everybody, Shirley Sean has one word and one word only. Have a listen. Scrumptious. Yeah, she loves to say scrumptious. They look like the Wiggles, sound like the Wiggles, and even have an ex-Wiggle running the show. But Australia's newest child entertainers differ in one big way. The characters are all emergency service workers with songs about keeping kids safe. They call themselves Team Rescue and a warning to mums and dads, it won't be long before this catchy tune gets stuck in your head because the original yellow Wiggle, Greg Page, is writing the songs. Yeah, so Team Rescue is all about delivering safety messages to children to help them stay safe because there's so many, you know, preventable deaths and injuries in Australia every year that if we can get the right messages out there, we can help save some of those lives and prevent some of those injuries. So in Team Rescue, there's superhero characters there that represent a firefighter, police officer, paramedic and lifeguard, and they deliver messages across those core emergency service areas. The group is led by Tony Chiocco, a Gold Coast firefighter who hopes Team Rescue can help prevent the tragedies he sees too often on the job. If you want to stay safe, then walk around the pool. Hey, car driver, before we go, here's some things that we've got to know. Kids are small and they can't be seen. It's up to biggest children's entertainment group in Australia, if not the world, for the last few decades. Now the Wiggles are getting the original band back together for a very worthy cause. We're doing this to raise money for the Red Cross and uh, for wires as well, for all the animals that have been, been affected too. Yeah. I think just a lot of people feel really helpless, um, you know, with the, the fires going on and, you know, how can you help out? And so, we, you know, we do what we can do uh, mm. and people can help by coming to the show and yeah. donating. The current Wiggles are... Uh, Emma and Simon and Lockie and, and myself, we're, we're going to do a video uh, to put out for the children um, to reassure them uh, because, you know, for a lot of young children, they're seeing scenes over and over again of, of really terrifying fires, uh, animals burn. Fires are churning through bone dry bush. And the RFS is warning because of the winds, embers, are being carried more than six kilometres ahead of the fire front, creating spot fires and a dangerous new challenge for the RFS. After weeks of threatening coastal towns, the South Coast bushfires suddenly roared into full force, triggering warnings to residents from Cooma to Bega and north to Batemans Bay and beyond. Seek shelter as fire approaches. 150 homes have been lost, 1,200 firefighters are in the field battling 73 blazes. Children need to be reassured, so that's what we're doing as well, uh, which is not a monetary thing, but I think it's going to help. It came from uh, Emma wrote to us and said we should do something. Uh, and Emma was on holidays and still on holidays, and Lockie was on holidays. And then Luke, our tour manager, said, why don't we get the 
original Wiggles together. Um, and it's very hard to do that because you don't know where Jeff is, you don't know where Greg is, you're not sure where Murray is. Jeff's in bed. Jeff's yeah, in yeah. bed, yeah. <laughs> he is and like Greg, I'm not sure where he's at. Murray's rocking in his, uh, the Soul Movers, his group. So, but it was great. We got together on the 7th and 18th. That's when we're getting together. And uh, all the stars aligned and um, we're doing it. We can't wait. Quack, quack. Jeff's a little bit older than he was before. In fact, we all are, so I'm not just going to lay that on Jeff's feet. He also does the farmyard dance, and you can do it too. Quack, 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 On the 17th of January, at the end of the original Wiggles concert for Bushfire Relief, I suffered a cardiac arrest. the end of the show, but this wasn't part of the performance. Guys, we, I think we're gonna end it there. Greg's not feeling real well. We thought he was having a fit, he was shaking a lot. One of the women who works in our office said he's not breathing, roll him on his back. It is frightening uh, uh, to see a, a friend uh, really in a bad way like that. And I'm uh, uh, just glad we, uh, that the guys could bring him back. One of those who came to help was 23-year-old Grace Jones, a registered nurse and a fan of the Wiggles since childhood. He wasn't breathing, so I just went in and I um, did a little bit of CPR and then someone handed me the defibrillator. Um, I got someone else to take over doing CPR and I attached the defibrillator to him um, and then we shocked him. I'm eternally grateful to the people who stepped up and used their training and skills to save my life. Kim Antonelli, Steve Pace, Grace Jones and Therese Wales. I know that there were other people on hand who all played a role in making sure that I was as safe as I could be and I thank all those members of the Wiggles staff and crew and members of the Castle Hill RSL Club as well. We love you so very much and we are fighting with you and I'm sending so many prayers. He's such a genuine man. Uh, a loyal friend and wishing you a speedy recovery. We're wishing you a speedy recovery and we hope that you get better very soon. I hope you get better. Get well soon, get back to doing what you do best. Good on you, Greg. Thinking of you, we hope you get better soon. Are you ready, guys? Come on, let's go. You ready, mate? Oh, wow, I'm loud. That's good. Three of the original Wiggles have returned to the stage just a day after their friend and frontman Greg Page nearly died. The children's group gave an emotional performance to a sellout crowd in Sydney as their 48 year old mate recovers in hospital. The World Health Organization has declared coronavirus a global pandemic with more than 118,000 cases across 114 countries. In the UK, 798 people have now been infected, up by 208 since yesterday. But it's thought the actual number may be much higher. 11 people have now died here and the government says it expects more deaths in the weeks and months to come. Thousands of people are self-quarantining at home after they may have come in contact with the coronavirus. A 12th fatality has now been reported here in the United States, the latest in Washington state. And at this hour, the number of cases topping 200. 
So firm warnings are being issued to those panic buying and hoarding. Grocery shops are still being stripped of goods. Trading hours for seniors and the disabled haven't been the success they were hoped to be. That's because Coles and Woolworths have been unable to restock the shelves fully. Toilet paper, pasta and paracetamol are still proving very difficult to get. Say Simon Says. Simon Says. The Wiggles, the much loved children's entertainers, have recorded a new song to teach children about social distancing during the COVID 19 pandemic. This song yeah. teaches us to do a very important message, doesn't it? Well, you know what? We, we made the song uh, because a lot of children have a lot of fears, uh, like adults. I guess as the Wiggles, we have a responsibility and we are responsible for educating and entertaining children um, to the best ability that we can. And I guess we felt like it was really important for us to react to this coronavirus situation as quickly as possible and to provide children and families with a video um, and actions and a song that children could join in and understand this abstract concept of social distancing. Do we have to wash our hands? Well, it helps to keep the germs away. Let's wash our hands many times a day. When you wash the germs to zero, you'll become a hand washing hero. Our friends at home Sing and dance and have some fun We are never on our own Before you eat food were a lot of disappointed kids around Australia earlier this year when the Wiggles were forced to postpone their national tour but break out the skivvies because they've got some exciting news. Now the Wiggles are returning to the stage in a free concert this weekend but there won't be any young fans in the audience. Instead it'll be streamed live from the Sydney Opera House to homes across the world for kids to enjoy. On this Sunday the Wiggles are going to be performing live from Sydney Opera House. And count to 20. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A lot of fun. It's going to be uh, uh, wiggle songs that you know, new wiggle songs. And of course, we'll be practicing social distance. What is it called? <laughs> this is our first live show in three months. But within the last three months, we've been performing shows like this digitally for Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Instagram Live. So essentially, it's going to be how people have seen the Wiggles in the last couple of months. So we're really looking forward to it. But this time, we'll be in the beautiful Sydney Opera House and we'll be leaving our Wiggly Land for a day. Lather your hands. Hey, everybody. I'm looking at you. It's time to get up and move. Turn on your heart right now. Let's groove. Do you believe in dreams? Well, I believe in you. I'll turn you into a believer. Right now, it's time to get your body and soul moving. Come on, everyone. Let's go. The idea is people are stuck at home still, a lot of people, and um, you know, they can watch the video and join in and, and do the, uh, the dancing and the workout. <laughs> well, if you see the moves a few times, you'll pick up a few.
And now Greg is advocating for every workplace, public venue and school to have a defibrillator, which you don't have to be trained to use. That's the voice that guides you through the Remove process. Remove clothing from patient's chest to okay. expose bare yeah. skin. So we won't do that. that. The device is so easy to use, you can do it in your sleep. <laughs> Although it's quite an emotional reunion for Greg, once these guys hit the dance floor, it's just like getting the band back together. Got the feeling that you're caught in a dream. Someone on the floor. The original Yellow Wiggle is eyeing off a world record in his mission to educate Australians about CPR. Greg Page determined to save as many lives as possible after almost losing his own. We need to change that, we need to raise that survival standard. Hands on the chest and we start to compress. Keep the beat, keep the beat going. Cause it keeps, keeps the blood flowing. It's a part of the chain of survival That means when someone needs revival Keep the beat, it keeps the blood flowing Right up to the brain And then we start it again Hard to do wiggly fingers in this. <laughs> this has been a wild, wild experience. From the moment I got here, I have just had the best time to sing the amount of songs I've sung, the range of songs I've sung, and then wear a nine foot puppet costume <laughs> at the same time has been a wild, wild ride. I spent all my years in believing you, I just can't get no relief. Lost. Somebody, somebody. I tried to have a lot of fun with the puppet, which is what we do with the Wiggles as well. We have a lot of fun, we try to engage with our audience, uh, really try to speak with our audience physically as well as vocally, so that's exactly what I tried to bring with the puppet. The Wiggles, we do 400, 450 shows a year, but to be in this costume, in this suit, doing the moves and singing those songs, that kind of took it to a whole other level. I will never complain about wearing my skivvy again and doing four shows a day again. <laughs> We're the Wiggles. And we are so excited about our brand new Wiggly World of Dance classes starting soon. Yeah, that's right. We'll have lots of dances to try. And we'll also be joined by some very special Wiggly friends. So joining us in the Wiggles, filling in for Lockie, is the original Purple Wiggle, Jeff. Here he comes. <laughs> Hi. It's great I'm to ready, see you, Jeff. I'm ready, ready. Yeah, ready, ready. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks to our friends at Big W. Dr. Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker, number nine. He likes to dance and keep in time. So let's get the rhythm of the feet. Now we've got the rhythm of the feet. Now let's get the rhythm of the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Anthony. I'm Greg. And we're from the OG, OG Wiggles. Wiggles. And we want to send out all the best wishes and love to Murray, who's getting better uh, after a big operation. Get well, Muzzer. Take care, Muzz. Oh, let's try, yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Don't fall asleep, old buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> The 
just wasn't enough blood getting through and so then that affected my aorta as well it, it dilated so it, it, it grew and it's like a balloon so if, if I'd let it go it could have potentially burst and that would have been it. I just noticed I couldn't swim as far without getting breathless and I was swimming just four laps and I'd have to have five minute break and that just was seemed wrong. Somebody who um, knows what you're going through. Uh -huh. You've been out for a couple of weeks now, mate, and I hope things are going better for you. So take care of yourself, mate, and I hope to see you very soon, early on in 2021. Take care, see ya. Hey, good on you, Paigey. But I'd like to wish everyone out there a very Merry Christmas. When you come to The Wiggles Show, you'll have your temperature checked by a temperature thermometer at the door when you arrive. This doesn't hurt. Simon? All good. <laughs> but it keeps to help everyone safe and healthy. If you're feeling unwell with cold or flu-like symptoms, please do not attend the show. In the event that this is the case, you can contact the venue after the show to make arrangements regarding your tickets. There will be hand sanitising stations available for you to use at the show, so please use these when entering and exiting the venue. Lucky. Thank you, Simon. Pleasure, Mark. Now, in between each show, we'll have a special team who will deep clean and sanitise the venue to help keep everyone safe. They'll focus on cleaning the seats, frequently use touch points and use an air sanitizer to help provide a safe environment for your family. Oi, oi. Please remember to wash your hands for 20 seconds to help stop the spread of germs. You might like to sing our hand washing song. Seating at our show will be allocated and venue staff will be able to assist you in finding your seats. Please remember to remain seated during the show and, where possible, try to avoid moving unnecessarily around the venue. Please maintain social distancing of 1.5 metres, like this. You can spread your arms out like you're doing the propeller. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Thirty years, can you believe it? I can't believe it. You know, twenty-seven when we started, so uh, doing the maths, I'm um, fifty-seven. <laughs> wow. I didn't think I'd still be wiggly. <laughs> I think the secret is uh, just keeping it fun, um, thinking about what children enjoy, and uh, you know, uh, uh, colourful, all the things we've always done, and uh, hopefully writing songs that uh, annoy the parents for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> well you're certainly doing that. Think, particularly in this song, you know, it really is a celebration of oh, the 30 yeah. years of, of the colour and the community, the Wiggly community, Wiggly friends, the Wiggly family, and so we're so, so thrilled to be able to share this with everybody as a celebration of 30 years of Wiggly. Yeah, we're all fruit salads all about, um, I think, just uh, bringing the world together. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the thing about we're all fruit salad, everybody can wear a skivvy. <laughs> yeah. Everyone can be a Wiggly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Murray Wiggle. Hi, I'm Emma Wiggle from The Wiggles, and we covered Tame Impala's Elephant. For like a version. If The Wiggles were your first ever favourite band, you're not alone. Aussie kids have loved them for decades. And now the fruit salad obsessed rock stars have come together to perform for their slightly more grown up fans. Dreaming about being loved by him. The Wiggles 
love animals, and so we chose it because we like elephants. And it was kind of a tribute to Tame Impala as well, who are amazingly successful and um, brilliant, as it turns out. We've seen Tame Impala a lot at the Arias. Mm. We've not really ever had a meeting no. per se, but we're very much inspired by the band. When we got into it, we didn't realise how complex it would be. Fruit salad. We wanted to keep it faithful to the original. So the best way to keep it wiggly is uh, to stick in fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> We can fit it in anyway. <laughs> I, I think because it was complex, you know, we wanted to pay respect but also try and do our best. We've had a great time learning it because it is so different to what we would normally play and really we don't get to play together as a band that often anymore. No, so no. it's special yeah. actually to have all of us in the one room. Yeah, I really loved it because, yeah, as you say, you know, I haven't been playing with these guys for a long time and uh, just to have the old and the new together has been really fun. Today we have some very special friends joining us all the way from Sesame Street. It's Elmo, <laughs> Abby and Cookie Monster. Hi, Wiggle. Hi. Hi. <laughs> G'day, mates. G'day, mates is right, Abby. It's such a pleasure. We had the, the beautiful opportunity to visit Sesame Street a few years ago and film some content with them. And now we've produced two new collaboration songs with Sesame Street, ABCs of Moving You and Fruit Salad, which had just come out last night. So we're thrilled to be part of the Sesame Street family. I remember when Sesame Street premiered on the ABC and I was about six years old and I was amazed by it and, and fell in love with uh, all the characters, especially Cookie Monster, a monster close to my heart and my stomach. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, me, me love singing with the Wiggles. Yeah, me big, big fan. You know, the Wiggles, they the voice of a generation. I went to the library and got me a book. To the library and got me a book. And when I read that book, I learned how to cook. Go, 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 go. I went to the library. Tonight, I'll be eating five Neapolitan pizzas to share and a hot potato gnocchi. Hot potato! Hot potato? Thank you. <gasps> oh, 
God help me. Banana, potato, some fruit from the fridge. Tomato, sultana, a bowl of porridge. Rock melon, pineapple, rhubarb in a dish. A lemon, we squeeze on a fish. Spaghetti, I'm ready for a big piece of cheese. Some fruitcake with custard, may I have more please? An apple, a pawpaw, and red strawberries. Roast chicken, fish fingers, and cream and jelly. I got approached to do this commercial. I thought someone was winding me up. It was like, what? <laughs> because I'm the same thing. And then when I saw, I read it, it really cracked me up. I thought it was so funny. And I got this really sweet message from them. I mean, they are very, very nice people. I mean, I've got to tell you. Yeah, but isn't the fact they are so happy and always smiling a little bit annoying to you? <laughs> Yeah, and weirdly, as we shot the commercial, and it did take a long time, I started to get more and more irritated, which I think they kind of liked. Um, that's what made the whole thing so funny. I mean, in my mind, it's got to be number one. Oh, 100%. I love them. I mean, they are so funny um, and so happy. Um, and now I've got, like, a son. You know, I get them. I've got a... Look at them. I'm always happy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. They're never grumpy. And that's why it's such a great juxtaposition, seeing you as the grey wiggle. Um, they bring so much happiness. I've got a one-year-old now, and I get, I get your attitude in all of this. It's like... Yeah. Guys, can you stop smiling at some point? <laughs> 100%, they never stop smiling. Look, for decades, the Wiggles have brought joy to kids right around the world, selling over 30 million albums and earning millions of dollars in royalties every year. But it's not all going towards hot potatoes, fruit salad or that big red car. <laughs> One of the original band members is giving back with a remarkable gift to help a family in need. Anthony Phil, you are a good man. How long have you known Brendan and why did you want to help out? Well, I heard about Brendan's story from a, 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 a veteran, another a veteran, uh, uh, Willie, who's also fighting cancer. And he put me on to um, uh, Brendan's story and uh, I went on the GoFundMe page and I made a donation. And I also just started talking to Brendan over the last year or so, maybe even longer. And we've discussed everything and had the best conversations. And uh, to know Brennan is to love him. And uh, the reason I've given those royalties is because it means a lot to me writing a song. And I wanted to give Brennan something that meant something to me. And uh, hopefully for years to come, they'll get a little package every couple <laughs> of months, you know.
Hi, we're, we're the Wiggles. Wiggles. I'm Anthony. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and okay, guys, get ready. We need your help. We need everyone to dance and sing along with us. It's time to wiggle. Let's all wiggle, everybody. Get ready to wiggle. We've been ready for so long. Get ready to wiggle. When you wiggle, you can't go wrong. Get ready to wiggle. Wiggle will make you big and strong. Get ready to wiggle. Come on, wiggle to this song. Congratulations. I now hate music. I like the grey wiggle. Quiet, red one. Ready to dive into another song, everyone? Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. Well, you can run, you can jump and skip too. But here's a dance that is oh so new and do, do the move they call the wiggle room Clap your hands and spin around Pat your head and touch the ground Do, do the move they call the wiggle room Clap your hands and stamp your feet Groove along to the wiggly feet And do, do the move they call the wiggle groove Side to side, you sway with your hands Lift your knees in time with the band Pendulum with your legs side to side You're doing it the wiggle way Clap your hands and spin around Pat your head and touch the ground Do, do the move they call the wiggle groove Do, do the move they call the wiggle groove Do, do the move they call the Thank you. 
Well, I hope when uh, the day comes when we can't wiggle anymore, you know, uh, we, we pass the baton on to, um, to uh, younger wiggles. Children don't discriminate, though, about young or old. They don't care about grey hair, expanding waistlines. They just want to be entertained. So it doesn't really matter who we pass the batons on to or the skivvies on to as long as they entertain. It can be girls, boys, it uh, doesn't matter.